guys in this video I'm going to show you how to use temp setting. To access temp setting you have to go to appearance and click on temp setting. Here you can see the temp options. Uh, the first section is general. Uh, it has different options like phones, page sidebars, custom sidebars. The second tab is layout management where you can choose your website layout like changing its style to horizontal or vertical. Here you can see your website is set on horizontal. I'm going to set on vertical and save. Here it goes. It changes to vertical. Now the next option we have here is have a screen. I'm going to choose this one and save. I can see the changes now. The next options are terms general colors. You can make your own color. And the next step is header and footer. You can change the name which is shown as a logo on your website. I'm going to change it and you can see the differences. Here you can see that the top logo is changed. Now uh, we can choose the next option which is Manitagal we can be closed or open. I'm going to set down open and you can see the changes. If I set down open, when your website loads, the menu will be opened. Okay, now the next step is about. About is the first section of your website. You can change label which is shown in both menu and in some sections. Here I'm going to change it to home and you can see the difference. Now the first option is your photo. You can upload a photo of yourself here and the next one is your name. I'm going to change it. And you have the option of writing some text about yourself and uploading a signature image for yourself. Here we can see that it changes again. And the next section is portfolio. Uh, here we can see portfolio section. I haven't uploaded any portfolio item yet. And custom part is the next section. Here you can choose the custom part positions and its name on menu. Next one is resume. In resume here you can see that. You can change this label which is shown in menu. Here you can see that. I have changed it to my box and it has some other options like scale achievement. You can change it to anything you like. I'm going to change the first one. Remember you don't have to enter the persons to be shown here. The person mark will be added automatically. Here I'm going to click on my work, you can see that the first one is changed. Okay, now the next step is work experience. Here we can write about your experiences. I'm going to change the first one for you. You can change the time period for the 
experience or job and upload an image of it or enter some text for it. Let's see changes together. Here's the text I have entered. Okay, great. Let's go to the next option, next tab, which is blog. You can change this label or change the sidebar for your blog. Options are having the sidebar or not, or choosing the position, which is right sidebar. I'm going back, and the next one is map. Map will be shown in your contact section. It's set on this level. I'm going to enable the map and show you the map. Here you can see that. Here we have map style. You can set it on dark or light. I have changed it to light. Okay, and the next options are map properties. Now, in contact tab, you can change the contact label, which is shown in both contact section and in the menu. I'm going to change it, and also I'm going to show you how to change other information. Let's see the result together. Okay, now we can see the differences. The next step is social icons. Uh, you can enter your social network addresses here. I'm going to add a Facebook address here. see that the Facebook is added to the social icons in your contact section now. And the next step is uh, address options. Here you can enter your custom scripts or CSS. And the last one is demo content which is used for importing the demo content to your website.